I'm Fiona Forbes for Investment Pitch Media. Exmon Mining has provided an update on plans for exploration, development and bulk sampling at its 100% owned Kenville Gold Mine. The recently acquired Kenville Gold Mine, located near Nelson, British Columbia, is the first recorded underground mine in British Columbia. A new underground decline is planned to be driven 466 meters as a line drive at minus 15% grade from a starting elevation of 8 810 meters to the 740 meter elevation, then a further 40 meters at plus 3 percent. The decline is projected to cross at least two veins before reaching its target elevation, which lies at the center of a series of vein intercepts in holes drilled between 1995 and 2010. The end of the decline will also be in a favorable position for a raise to be driven to connect with the historic workings of the Kenville Gold Mine to be used for ventilation and as a secondary egress as the mine is progressively developed. Underground diamond drilling from the decline is planned to begin at about 200 meters from the portal. This drilling will follow up historic 1995 drill intercepts on the Eagle Veins in an area where mineralized chutes are projected down from historic mined areas on the 257 and the 275 levels. If successful, stoke blocks could be defined between the 200 and the target 500 meter mark in the decline. The intercepts in this table are examples of target intercepts before the 500 meter mark in the decline. The 500 meter end position of the planned decline is in line with the projection of mineralized chutes from the historic mine. At the 500 meter mark, there are a number of drill intersections in the flat vein and south zone areas that indicate excellent potential for a bulk sample to be outlined. This table shows some of the better target intercepts for the 500 meter mark in the planned decline. It is estimated that 4,500 meters of underground drilling will be required to appropriately outline material for a bulk sample of 10,000 tons. The 740 meter elevation will likely be the first level from which potential vein stoke mining will take place via ramps driven up and down to cross cut projected veins indicated from the drilling. An area extending over a strike length of 300 meters and a vertical distance of 150 meters will be developed for trial mining of a bulk sample. Exman owns 100% interest in three precious metal projects located in southern British Columbia. In addition to the two gold projects, the Gold Drop Project and the Brett Epithermal Gold Project, Exman also owns the Treasure Mountain Silver Project adjacent to the past producing Huldra Silver Mine. Currently both the Gold Drop Project and the Treasure Mountain Silver Project are under option agreements with the option partners making annual stage cash and stock payments as well as funding the development of these projects. The company has recently acquired control of the Amelia Gold Mine in the center of the McKinney Gold Camp. Exman shares are trading at 71 cents. For more information, please visit the company's website at ExmanMiningCorp.com. Contact Christopher R. Anderson, President and CEO, by email at office at ExmanMiningCorp.com. For investor relations, contact William Satlager at 604-488-3900 or by email at ir at ExmanMiningCorp.com. I'm Fiona Forbes for Investment Pitch Media.